In this problem, we're asked to test the convergence of, of this series where everything is raised to the nth power. And as soon as you see that, you should be thinking, let's do the root test because I'm going to take the nth root of this and it should clean up nicely. So the root test again goes like this. All right, suppose you take the nth root of the nth term with absolute value bars around it. That doesn't matter for this series. And it settles down to some limit L. If L is less than 1, then you have absolute convergence in your series. If L is bigger than 1, you have divergence. And if L is equal to 1, you have an inconclusive test. So let's check out the large N limit of the nth root of natural log of N to the N over N to the N. And the nth root simply undoes the nth power. You could call it an exponent of 1 over n if you wanted, and then multiply the exponents, and n times 1 over n is 1. Uh, the bottom line is the nth root undoes nth powers. So my life just got a lot easier. So that's an infinity over infinity indeterminate form. And I'm going to have to use L'Hopital's rule to deal with it. And I'm going to take care to look at L'Hopital's rule only for a function on the real numbers because derivative doesn't make sense for a discrete sequence that's only working at integers but we do have a theorem that tells us that the large x limit of this function on the real numbers as long as it's the same function that generates the sequence at, at the integer values is going to be the same limit as for the integer sequence so we switch just sort of casually to the real numbers so we can use L'Hopital's rule and I get 1 over x for the derivative of the top one for the derivative of the bottom, and now the limit of 1 over x as x goes to infinity is definitely 0. That means the limit of natural log n over n is 0 as well, and that's definitely less than 1, and so our series converges absolutely by the nth root test.